Shania Viaba, and this is LB TV News for the week of February 13th. Student life at Lindenwood runs many different activities on campus, so I went to their office to get some information about the organization. Here at Lindenwood Belleville, we have an organization called Student Life. I went to go find some student employees to tell us what student life really is and why they would want to be a part of it. Student life is a big combination of intramural sports, um, campus activity board, the Greek life, and uh, student government. Um, I decided to be part of student life because I wanted to be more involved in school activities and um, just it's, an, it's a good excuse to meet new people and interact with students. Student life, it's a mixture of like intramurals events and sport, sport events and uh, campus activity board, so we organize events on campus for students to enjoy. I'm a part of student life because it helps me get involved with anything that's going on, on at the school as well as um, it's more so a resume builder. I'm a part of student life because I want to get involved on campus and like all the activities we have here and not just like participating in them but like help setting them up and stuff and I also want to give back to my college. We just help students get involved in the school, we help entertain them, provide fun activities, just you know give them a way to socialize with each other you know and it helps out because we're a small campus. Student life has events almost every single day, every single week throughout the whole year. What's coming up for this week? We have our normal trivia night, which is a monthly event. Different teams competing and answer trivia questions to win uh, prizes. Uh, usually it's a gift card for Barnes & Nobles or uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I like working there. I like all the little, like, learning all the trivia facts and stuff. We also have LSGA, um, they're calling it the Heart Hunt, and it's where we put um, students' names on hearts and put them all throughout the school. You find your heart and you get a prize. Reporting for LBTV News, this is Shania Vialba. One popular event on campus is a monthly trivia night. Dylan Chisholm spoke to the organizers and participants on Tuesday night. On Tuesday night, the Campus Activity Board hosted their monthly trivia night for students to win some prizes and have fun answering some off-the-wall questions. So trivia night is basically your regular trivia night. There's a bunch of rounds on different subjects and a bunch of questions about those subjects. And we allow the students to get in groups of up to six and answer those questions and then the winner gets a prize. So there's gift cards for the winning team. Um, yeah, it's just a really fun event that we love putting on. The Campus Activity Board members said that students love Trivia Night because it's a good chance for them to show off some of that random knowledge. I think that students like this event in particular because we all have useless knowledge and this is a chance to test that. And I mean the Belleville Brits have won twice in a row and they're here to maintain their title and they are just ungodly at trivia. And so everybody else wants to beat them <laughs> because they want to prove that they know more random stuff than they do. Um, so we won a Barnes and Noble card. And this is actually the third time we've won it. Um, you know, we just keep coming back. We do train. Um, they tried stitching us up this time, but we still won. So we'll take the win. Yeah. Cab also told us about some exciting upcoming events that they want students to get involved with. Um, we are going to be putting on the regular events, grocery, bingo, open mic night, more trivia nights, um, and night breakfast at the end of the semester, which is an awesome event. And we do have a couple of things in the works right now that you might want to keep your eyes peeled for that are going to be super fun, and we have some really great ideas for next fall as well. Reporting for LBTV News, I'm Dylan Chisholm. Lindenwood Belleville Theater Department is getting ready to host auditions for five single act plays on February 19th. The plays will be directed by students and will be shown on April 12th and 13th. Drew Ryber went and spoke with the directors. Lindenwood Belleville's theater department is holding open auditions on Tuesday, February 19th for student-directed one-act plays. So I went to ask the head of the theater department, Marsha Parker, what the one-acts are all about. The, the reason that we're doing one-act plays and we do them, we have done them almost every spring um, is because the, the acting students who are in the program are also required to take a directing course and so it wouldn't make very much sense to take a directing course without actually having to direct a piece and and present it for public consumption. I also interviewed some of the directors to find out what their plays were about. 
The characters explain, explain some of previous experience that they had in their life and how they, they dealt with them, you know. It's about a middle-aged woman uh, who is recently widowed, uh, navigating her way through an emotionally abusive relationship while trying to raise her kids. Okay, so my play is about a woman going for a job interview and getting stuck in the elevator uh, when she actually does everything which is in her power to get out of the elevator and one guy actually helps her helps her in that and it's funny. The directors are looking for a variety of people to audition. No experience is required. I'm looking for actors who are willing to make people laugh. I'm looking more for somebody who's willing to be open, who's willing to experiment with how, how they're going to be acting and uh, is more open to doing a more mature material. I would encourage anybody who thinks they may have wanted to try to be in a play to come and audition and maybe be in a play. They probably never, you know, had experience with it. They probably had. I mean, they're all welcome here. This is Drew Rydberg reporting for LBTV News. Last week, Lindenwood Belleville Black Student Union held their annual Poetry Slam in honor of Black History Month. Ashayla Mathis has the story. On February 5th, the Black Student Union hosted their annual Poetry Slam in the auditorium. At this event, students and guests performed a wide selection of poems, although most center on race positivity and social change for the African American community. We asked the event host on both what got the Poetry Slam started and why it's important to students. Uh, yes, this is the fourth annual Poetry Slam for Black History Month. Uh, the reason that we had this Poetry Slam is because during the Hall of Renaissance, you know, back in the day, uh, it, was a, it was a way for black people to express themselves through, through poetry and everything like that. So we just want to give our students here a voice and hopefully we have a good show tonight. Um, what it means to me, it's an opportunity to see the talent of other students, um, giving them a chance to express themselves and a chance for me to see students in a different light. Uh, we see each other every day, but you never know what kind of things that people are experiencing and poetry is a way for people to express themselves to show them in a different light. I'm Michelle Mathis reporting for LBTV News. Video games can be a huge part of the college life. So the Campus Activity Board hosted a FIFA tournament for students to show off their skills and win prizes. Pablo Martinez was there to see who came out on top. Last Friday, Campus Activities Board organized a FIFA tournament in the Dixon Center Overflow. From 7 till 10 p.m., many people showed up to play and watch several matches of this popular soccer video game, although the call wasn't the best to attract a bigger audience. My friend Diego is one of the, of the people who is organizing all, all these events and he's always like really pushing us into playing so I say okay let's, let's play today. Sometimes it depends on the weather, uh, when it's warm people used to come over uh, more often. There's more people here when there is a nice weather. Most of the participants knew this was a big chance to show their abilities and receive an attractive prize. I really like playing FIFA. This last week, actually, I've been, I've been practicing really hard. Probably four or five hours a day, just for this event. Since I have been part of the student life, we have been always given the same prize, which is a $25 gift card for Buffalo Wild Wings. Everyone had a good time. We could see a lot of goals and exciting moments throughout the night. Some players were disappointed with their results. I lost the first round. But they all behaved with an admiring sportsmanship. Angelo Fanzares became the winner of the tournament, beating Alfredo Serrano 2-0 in the championship game. They both received the same prize, since this time it was an individual competition. We have had different kind of tournaments, sometimes uh, doubles and singles, but now it has uh, decreased a little bit, so we, we do singles now. Next tournament will be held in a month, and there are already some guys who are looking forward to playing again. Yeah, for sure, I will be back. I'll be back stronger. I'm telling right now, I'm going to win the next tournament, okay? Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm coming for you. Reporting for LBTV. This is Pablo Martinez. This has been LBTV News. Thank you for watching. I'm Shania Viaba, and we'll see you all next week.